Welcome to American Airlines Arena here in gorgeous South Beach, Florida, home of the Miami Heat. And we're in for a treat tonight as LeBron James and the defending NBA champions take on their challenger from the 2012 Finals, Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Tip-off is underway for what should be an exciting to-the-wire finish. Durant closely guarded by James out on the wing. Tries to drive inside. Step back. Jumper. Nylon. Durant puts up his first two points of the game. Wade at the top of the key. Guarded by Cephalosha. A little behind the back move by Wade. Driving hard inside. Knifing his way through. Takes the contact and the foul. Wade will go to the line for the three-point play. Swings it out to Durant. Pump fakes. Decides to take the shot anyway. Can't get it to fall. Wade with the rebound. Up the floor to LeBron. One-on-one. -on -one. Kaboom! And American Airlines Arena just erupted after that huge one-hand stuff over Cephalosha. Durant out on the wing against Badiak. Kick out to Reggie Jackson. The feed to Martin. Catch and shoot. Got it! Kmart cleans up on aisle three. Out to Westbrook on the wing. Pump fakes. Driving inside. Takes the contact from Wade and finishes a tough layup. And this has become Westbrook's quarter here in the second. Westbrook doubled up. Spins left. Cutting inside. Hello! Anybody home? Miami dead silent as the Thunder is starting to pull away. Durant on the wing, defended by Birdman, driving inside. Crossover, lost the dribble. James picks it up. He's in the open floor, and you better stay out of his way. LeBron James, a huge two-handed windmill stuff. And American Airlines Arena erupts as the Heat are now within five. And I think that Westbrook has to stay just as aggressive as he was in the first half as he puts Chalmers on spin cycle and finishes home with a huge two-hand spike. Just kicked the door down, no one was there, and he made himself at home. That man is dangerous. Grant trying to drive on Allen. Crossover, hop step left, jumper no good. Chalmers gets the board. Up the floor now to LeBron James, two on one. Inside to Wade. Wade flushes it over Durant. And the foul. Crossover. Durant with six seconds. Can't hit. Collison offensive rebound. Back out to Durant. James on him. At the buzzer. That will count. Durant hits it. And the Thunder will go into the fourth quarter up 59-56 in Miami. Allen a spin move. Another one. That time he lost control. And another turnover for the Heat. As Perkins picks it up. Up the court to Durant. Reverse finish. Ibaka trying to work on Haslam. Kicks it back out to Cephalosha. Thunder working the ball inside the Perkins. Back outside to Durant. Little hesitation move on LeBron. A crossover drive inside. Tiptoes past Bosch and gets the tough layup to fall. And we're down to two minutes to play. Durant, catch and shoot. Can't hit. He's looked gassed here in the fourth quarter. Chambers the rebound. Back up the floor to LeBron on the break. Tie ball game. Seven second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Martin to Westbrook. Six seconds remaining. Westbrook can't drive inside. Martin, they've got to get a shot up. Two seconds. Durant, corner. Got it! 7.2 remaining as Miami is thunderstruck after that clutch three by Kevin Durant. 7.2 seconds remaining. This capacity crowd is on their feet as the Heat are down by three. Haslam to inbound. Ibaka defending. They get it out to James. Out on the wing. Durant's on him tight. Three seconds. Two seconds. James puts it up. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. Ever since I was a kid after tip-off, I couldn't hear the crowd. I would black out and all I could hear was a whistle and dribbling of a basketball. But everything gets clear in the fourth. Two minutes left to go against the Lakers and it's playoff atmosphere. Dwight sets the baseline pick for Kobe and he's open for three. I put my hands up, decides not to take it and catches me with half spin fade, it's good. Bo gets inbounding the ball. We're down four and he decides to pass it to me. I see Kobe and Dwight coming. They're about to double team. I see the wide open lane but there's still some traffic down low. So I decide not to take the stupid shot with such little time left, and I step back. Me and Kobe one-on-one. -on -one. I call for the pick. Communication wasn't right, so I got the easy dunk. Kobe shooting free throws. And he's not gonna miss. It's Kobe. I have to shoot this three. We're down four. 
and all I can think about are these practice shots. Everything's in slow motion now. I see it going up and it's good. Toby shooting free throws once again. And he's not gonna miss. At least I don't think he will. So we're down three. It's me versus Kobe one on one. And all I can think about is this Utah game that made me fall in love with him as a play. That miraculous dunk he had. And I pull up and it goes down. I tell coach I want to guard him for the possible last shot. I see Kobe. Harrison Barnes gets him. We double team him a little bit. And all I can think about are these clutch shots he hit. Time after time. So I put my hands up and the ball is in such slow motion and it's wet. 1.9 seconds left, I go to my corner. Pull up, run in Kobe's face, and it's no good. And what keeps me going after times like this is I failed over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. Michael Jordan. What keeps you going?